Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. Hope everybody had a great day. Uh, if you are brand new to the channel, guys, or stumbled upon us, thank you very much for spending uh, a couple of minutes uh, with us. If you are so kind, take a second to like the video, share, and subscribe if you haven't uh, done so. Other than that, guys, sit back, relax, and hopefully... Uh, we'll continue to give you uh, great, great content uh, on a daily basis. So there was no video last night. Um, I didn't think there was a reason uh, to make a video last night because literally yesterday's day was literally the same day if it was uh, on Tuesday, meaning that the market was going for on a rest. Well-deserved rest. Uh, stocks like NVIDIA, uh, Amazon, Meta, Microsoft, they were all resting. AMD as well. We'll get to that. Uh, in a second. So it was, it was kind of counterproductive to make the same video as the night before and say, well, guys, the market's going through distribution. Hopefully the market can start waking up today. Well, today was the day, right? Today was the day you had, uh, you had data come out, more inflation data come out. I believe it was the PCE. Uh, the market really loved uh, the reaction, at least the reaction to the data. As you can see here, right from the word go, a uh, big, big move on the 830 data. And little by little, everything started coming out of uh, their channels uh, pretty aggressively. And this is, again, the type of market that we've been talking about for a while that a lot of fund managers, they blew it. They blew it in 2023. They didn't believe the rally, especially coming after uh, the 2022 bear market. So they didn't believe it. They weren't, they weren't buying anything. A lot of them weren't. That's why a lot of, you know, a lot of these funds are, are having really subpar uh, performance the last couple of years. So what do they do this year? As if you've been watching the video, they've been buying they've been chasing in a weird way they've been chasing performance because the last thing they want to do is go back on the books when they finally close in 2024 and say oh we did it again we again we didn't perform so that's what they're doing i mean what was the last time you saw a move on amd that was not earnings related up 16 points in the day and oh by the way up another three points after the close this is the type of market what it is it's not just names like NVIDIA, they're going nuts, and uh, SMCI that are going nuts. A lot of the uh, other semiconductors going crazy. They're, they're really chasing performance here, and the shareholder and the trader and the speculator, they're all being rewarded for. And, you know, if you look at uh, the final tally, right, you know, you had this four-day consolidation. We closed on the five-day today on this PC data. We reclaimed back the five-day, and this is now the whole, the highest close in the whole formation. If you look at uh, the semiconductors, right? Semiconductors did exactly the same thing. You guys remember that we were talking about 206, 206, 206, right? That was the line in the sand. Guess what? They held 206 again yesterday and now are one day away from taking all-time highs again. So the market, it just continues to be very, very strong. Uh, if you are patient and you watch the option flow because the option flow market is dictating pretty much every big move. If you guys remember, even when NVIDIA broke out above this 505 area. They were already coming for the 550s and the 600s. Well, this morning, AMD started breaking out, started taking out the previous day's channel, and they were coming for the 190s. This is when the stock was still at 179, 180. So you can see it's it really strongly is a FOMO market. The most sophisticated fund managers, if they missed last year, they sure as hell are trying to make up for it this year. And now they're just taking one stock at a time, any good catalyst that comes on board, and they're just really sending these things, dare I say it, to the moon. Uh, AMD, again, huge move today. Phenomenal move today. Uh, All-time highs. Uh, Amazon today, right? It rested. Highest close in this whole formation. Microsoft woke up from a four-day nap, exploded back. Now it's, again, one or two days away from testing highs. Uh, Meta, right? Meta had a good run, kind of rested, still getting very tight. This is now the highest close in this whole formation. Now, if it starts taking out the February 23 highs, maybe it finally gets to 500. I'll be, I'll be curious to see if they start hammering those 500 weeklies uh, going into uh, tomorrow's session. The 
the one stock, the one or two names that continue to befuddle, completely befuddle everybody is Apple. Apple cannot rally despite that AI uh, announcement a couple of days ago that they're kind of unwinding their EV uh, business or uh, EV wish or want list. And now are strictly looking at AI. They didn't care. They sold off the news. Guys, look at this volume bar today, right? Look at the volume bar on Apple. So again, we're still watching this thing. You know, as much as we're talking about some great opportunities to the upside, we're still watching Apple. Tesla, again, your guess is as good as mine. Does that sound familiar? It's still trapped in this channel, guys. Eventually, this damn thing's going to break. Um, I think I could speak for every Tesla shareholder or not even shareholder, every Tesla trader, whether you trade long, short, or indifferent, we don't even care at this point. Just get out of this range. Up or down, I don't even care. Uh, down has more value. Upside obviously has more good feel to it. But at this point, I just don't care uh, which ways. But right now, it's still stuck uh, in the middle of their ranges. So let's talk about it. I mean, it's nice, short, sweet. We don't need to overly dissect this market. The market is very, very strong. Um, I was watching TTD today. Didn't confirm. I was watching Tesla to the upside. Didn't confirm. AMLX, I was watching the upside. Well, actually, I wasn't watching the upside, but people were. I don't trade this crap. I say that, of course, the nicest way. Uh, didn't confirm. Here's where all the madness started, right? It started with AMD. AMD opens below 78.50. Let's use that as a pivot of interest. If it opens above, let's use 79 and a quarter. Well, AMD took out 79 and a quarter and just went... Yeah, this is what it did. It went absolutely nuts. Uh, we took a pair trade overnight uh, on AMD. I was long AMD overnight, short queues. The stock is up another $3 after the close. I'm done with AMD, and I wound up uh, losing a little bit less than a little bit less than 13, 14 cents on the queues. Who cares? Uh, that was my hedge. But AMD is surging uh, after the close, another $3. Uh, Microsoft 409.80 needs to build. Microsoft is going nuts as well traded all the way up to uh 414 a five dollar move this thing starts confirming this 414 level tomorrow it should continue uh nvidia right nvidia this is again where we talk about trading both sides of the market we have a we had a pivot to the upside we had a pivot to the downside and then you just patiently wait again it's not about the stock it's about the channels nvidia confirmed 789 30s and just went batty right just went absolutely batty Traded up to 800 today. If this thing, guys, if this thing could get above 800 tomorrow and stay above 800 tomorrow, NVIDIA can go all the way back up to those earnings highs run of 824. Just a really, really strong, strong and exaggerated market. Uh, CRM, again, gives you an idea how strong this market is. CRM came out with earnings last night. They got killed on earnings, walked its way back up, took out the after hours highs of 305. Uh, 305s and traded all the way up to uh, 310. Here it is right here. Uh, 305.80s after hours highs needs to needs to build. Traded up to almost 411. And uh, yeah, the first move went to 188. And now we're talking about uh, AMD at 195. Uh, here for all you guys who are uh, who, who watched the video on Tuesday when I made that reference when Terry Hatcher on Seinfeld said they're real and they're spectacular. We were talking about technical analysis. Well, yeah, they're real. Technical analysis is real, and it is spectacular. Um, so, again, here is the first move. We got five bucks out of AMD. We'll wait for the dip later. Uh, we'll wait for the dip later. The, the dip really never came. We bought it back near the close, and now it's up another $3 after the close. Again, here was the pair trade I took overnight. Uh, long AMD, uh, short queues, all out of everything uh, now. And uh, AMD just went nuts. You know, AMD went absolutely nuts and uh, that's it. Done with AMD. If all you guys are still holding calls, uh, consider, again, if you watch this broadcast before the close of the ECNs at 8 o'clock, you might want to consider uh, shorting some stock against your calls to kind of pair out your trade. That's it, guys. That's it. It's a supermarket. Uh, let's see what happens tomorrow. Let's see how much value we have tomorrow, and let's see if we can get another big run out of these uh, tech names as well. Guys, God bless everybody. Have a great day tomorrow, and I will see you all soon. Take care.